So I was thinking the other day, I was watching a clip about, I'm a big Phil Hartman fan. And, yeah. um, you know, I love all of his work. And uh, I, surprisingly enough, which I usually, I'm not a subscriber to his channel, but, um, you know, sometimes if a clip interests me, if it's someone famous, you know, Joe Rogan has a, a, a consistently a lot of people on there. And he had Harland Williams on the show. Uh, <laughs> who is, uh, as you know, from one of my favorite movies of all time, Rocket Man, and also Half Baked. Um, yeah. And I understand you have a story about Harland Williams. Um, what, what's your thoughts on Harland Williams? What, what's this? Uh, what's this story? Oh, I don't even have like a. Ma- it's not even that major of a story, but just uh, Mrs. Meany's big fan too, you know. And uh, he was in uh, Dumb and Dumber. He was the cop, you know. Uh, Pull over. <laughs> That's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. It. Or something like that. <laughs> No, uh, we went to see Harlan Williams at, oh, um, I'm hungover, bro. So, <laughs> uh, I just found a whole Gatorade of uh, green apple. Atta boy. Atta boy. Uh, Harlan Williams, he, uh, he was playing, oh my God, helium in Philly. Mm. And, uh, me and Miss Me went and checked it out and. This is back before I, I really got to the art of shaping up my beard. So I had like my, my beard was a little bushy. And uh, I guess I caught his eye. And he's just like, oh, look at you. <laughs> like, yeah, you got a big got a big beard. You're like a lumberjack. And I'm just sitting there. I'm just like <laughs> smiling. And then like he stops talking. I go, want to go to the prom? <laughs> and he looks at me and goes, do I want to go to the prom? <laughs> and he lets it breathe for the crowd. He's talking to me. They're laughing. I go, you want to go to the prom? And everybody's like, what? <laughs> he goes, do I want to go to the prom? And, it, you know, he lets that breathe a little bit. He goes, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and just a huge pop. And, you know, continued on with his uh, show. Oh, and then wow. afterwards, he did, you know, if you go to a, like Helium, a lot of times, you know, the comedians will be there after the show. Yeah. Their gimmick table. And uh, you can buy their wares and stuff. I went up to him and said, hey, man, I hope, <laughs> hope you don't mind the uh, prom guy. He's like, no, no, that was a great moment. You know, he, he's like, oh, we did something funny. That, yeah. That's great. And he was like really cool about it. I have, to, awesome. I have a photo with him somewhere. I have, oh, to, I have, to, I have to post it. But yeah, he's great, man. He, um, I watched some of that Rogan thing with Harlan because uh, I guess he ribbed the fuck out of Rogan saying he had a tapeworm. Really? I mean, I have, I have, a, tape, I have a tapeworm. Yeah, excuse me. I, you know, and I have to feed it every two minutes by eating the celery. <laughs> and Rogan's just like looking at him like, are you serious? He's like, yes. yes. Straight face. <laughs> And I, th- I think he gave the tape, you know, the tapeworm a name. That's so funny. And, and every now and then he's eating celery, like, you know, <laughs> it's been going on for like over an hour, I think. <laughs> he fucking hits him with it for an hour. And then Amazing. eventually he acts like he's in pain and he pulls out this giant tapeworm looking thing out of his shirt. <laughs> Bro, that's dedication, man. man. So good. Oh, so, he was all in on the rib. You know, just amazing. Didn't even break character. Like when Rogan was like, are you being serious with me? Oh, yeah. So good. With the un- un- uncomfortable pause. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, my God. He's one of my favorites. The, the, uh, the, the Rocket Man film, if you've never seen it, it's a Disney film from 1997. And uh, obviously, as a kid, that was one of my, my favorites. But obviously, you know, Half-Baked which I should not have been watching at the age that I did watch it, uh, is yeah. a, classic, a classic film. And uh, I still, around the house, uh, you know, you like popcorn. Makes your mouth go pop, pop, a pop, pop. My kids say that now. So, Harland, I know you're a fan of the show and you're watching. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, thank you for that. We appreciate you gracing us with that. But Oh, he's um, great, man. He's so good. Uh, let me see. Machete Von Kill says, Harland has been hilarious on Kill Tony. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, I guess a show, right? I'm and, uh, sure. Kill Tony is uh, Tony Hinchcliffe. He uh, has a show where they give you about a minute to do a set, 
Mm. And he's got comedians up there with him and, and different people from different, like Ric Flair was on there. Uh, Ric Flair walked off because they, he thought it was too mean. Oh, that's right. I remember. I was, I, now I'm familiar. Yeah. To, uh, dude, I, it was pretty cool. I, 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 it's pretty cool that I get to say I got roasted by Tony Hinchcliffe that, at the uh, Iron Sheik roast. That's amazing. See his own the day is as well. And uh, this is like, I'm, I'm sure he was known at the time, but like I wasn't familiar with him. And uh, <laughs> I guess during the roast, I turned to New Jack. I was like, hey, I said, New Jack, if I give you 20 bucks, can you come over here and punch me in the face so I can see some fucking stars on the stage? <laughs> and I looked at, you know, back at them and they all, you know, they put me over, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh. Tony's good. Tony's good. He was on the Tom Brady roast. He's, he came in and at the end, towards the end of the Brady roast and just oh, right. annihilated people. Yeah. Annihil annihilated. Man, that was, that Tom Brady roast was rough to watch, man. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Blue, 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 blue world order.